so based on your uh, like observation and understanding while applying for this uh, for the ms mm -hmm. uh, what like again can you go through the application process like what was being evaluated and uh, what should people have on their profile like are certain courses helpful or projects helpful or uh, what is it that they essentially evaluate while you're in your application yeah so uh, i mean when you think about it from the college's perspective, what they look for is, do you, uh, is this candidate, I mean, without knowing anything else about the candidate, uh, will this candidate do well in college? And will this candidate get a fair, I'd say, uh, get placed or get a good job after graduating? Not necessarily a good job, but uh, what the college considers as a uh, good job. And um, so the reason why they'd have those in mind is because one thing, the academic reason that they want students to do well, and the other one is they want the program to have a good name as well, right? Uh, in order to attract more students. So from their perspective, that's what they'd expect. And so what you would pres present in your uh, you know, material, like your resume or your uh, um, SOP or your GRE score or, or so on, that would again have to kind of uh, convey that message, right? That you can do, uh, at, so for my program, you also have to show that you have a, a quantitative background uh, and then show that you have some aptitude and some familiarity with the domain and are sure that you want to do this uh, and competence in some level uh, and to, for the college to be sure that, you know, you, you really can do it. Uh, and so I'd say a resume that has something that's relevant for data science and uh, fairly uh, something that you've invested time in and has had some degree of success and results, right? So that's something that you could highlight. And even on your statement of purpose, uh, a story that kind of coheres to that uh, pitch where you, you have a certain background in the, in the domain and want to further your knowledge or uh, further your prospects in the field. And hence you're trying to pursue this. Uh, and, you know, some, rather than just being a story, if it has, you know, uh, things that you can point to and say, okay, this is why I did that. And that, that kind of is relevant to my story. Right? And that's probably something that can really help uh, having a very strong SOP, right? Uh, and then, uh, of course, the qualifiers for that is uh, TOEFL score beyond a certain, certain threshold and GRE. Again, uh, I think only the quantitative one on GRE really matters. The other one is like a, if you meet a certain threshold, it's fine. Um, and then I think another very important one is recommendation of this, right? So if you can get uh, people that you've worked with or professors from college uh, who have seen your work, right? Uh, or, or say you did a project with the prof or your um, beta project was the prof or some such thing where you have a certain uh, a fair amount of interaction with that prop and that prop is impressed with your work and they write something. So rather than just approaching a prop uh, who you've done one course with like several years back, but did not great in that course either, uh, trying to get a recommendation from someone who knows what you've done and is impressed by it, uh, that really helps as well. So, uh, and, and so I think some colleges ask for one academic uh, recommendation letter and a couple of uh, recommendation letters from anywhere. So that could also be academic. Uh, some of them ask for two academic. And so that probably is something that uh, you should keep in mind and start early because uh, depending on people's schedules, it's something difficult to get in time.